Good morning. This is Emperor Jackson again, Senior Pastor, First United Methodist Church here in Tupelo, sharing another message with you, God's people. Today in our scripture reading, I'd like to share a portion of Psalm, well actually Psalm 133, Psalm 133, is entitled, A Song of Ascent, The Blessing for Unity, The Blessing for of or for unity. Hear now these words. How very good and pleasant it is when kindred live together in unity. It's like the precious oil on the head running down upon the beard, on the beard of Aaron, running down over the collar of his robes. It's like the dew of Hermon, which falls on the mountains of Zion. From there the Lord ordained his blessing, life forevermore. If there has ever been a time where we need unity, it is now. Persons are fighting over whether or not to wear a mask. People are fighting over divisions and political views. People are fighting over all sorts of things, racial unrest and divide. There's conflict from country to country. The bombing in Beirut, Lebanon recently comes to mind. We are debating whether or not to open schools and churches and how to do so safely. And we seem to be at odds with one another. Our associate pastor, Smith Lilly, recently talked about how people, because of the isolation, the physical and social distancing, may seem to be at odds with one another and not very kind. But I'm here to remind us today that this scripture reading from Psalm 133 reminds us that we ought to be a people of unity, that God is calling us to work together to love together, to do all that we can together because we are children of God. So let us put aside our petty differences and realize that it is only by working together, loving together, holding hands together. And it doesn't mean that we have to agree about everything, but it is only through these means that we can truly live out the example of Jesus Christ and truly become the people that God wants us to be. And so our challenge today, as our challenge is each and every day, but it seems to be more paramount now than ever before, is to live together in unity and to remember that we are all, all of us, black, white, young, old, middle-aged, those of us who are born into means of financial well-being, those of us who are born into poverty, it makes no difference because we are all children of God and God wants us to dwell together in unity. Let us bow our heads. Almighty, everlasting, and ever kind God, remind us that we are your children. Strengthen us, uplift us, Allow us to do all that we can, dear God, to worship you in spirit and in truth, but more than anything else, to live in harmony and unity with one another, following the example of your Son, Jesus Christ. This we ask most humbly now, in the name of the Father, Son, and through the sweet communion of thy Holy Spirit. Amen.